Hello everyone. We are on our July 2022 summer road trip and we have finally made it to Ohio. I'm sure you can guess at least two places we'll be visiting in Ohio that we're very excited about. This has been in the works for so long, but we're staying somewhere really cool for our visit to Kings Island, so I have got to share Camp Cedar with you. Camp Cedar, a luxury outdoor resort. It's got an RV section. It's got a cottages section. We're staying in one of the cottages. Camp Cedar just opened last year in 2021, so it's fairly new. And our cottage also comes with a golf cart, among other amenities. So come with us as we first get to the cabin and explore and find all the wonderfulness. Nice, got a little lake here. Got a little fire pit. This is, oh look, a bag for us. This is Sam and Jackie on it. Oh, wow, okay, so there's a loft up there. There's a bunk bed here. Oh, beautiful bathroom. Some art, and here's the master bedroom. This is so beautiful. Two closets, a safe, oh, the thing rolls. <laughs> nice cold AC. Lots of storage space here. Two of these closets, extra pillows. <laughs> steep. It is steep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on up. Right. Here, hand me the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, cozy. It is cozy, so someone else could sleep up here. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. This is so cool. I want to sleep up here. Let's have a little peek. We have to get firewood. Yeah, we Big do. Color. And like a full little kitchen. I am very excited for our stay here. All right, you going down? Going down. It's very steep. It's really more like a ladder. Yeah. Well, it is a ladder. But, uh... <laughs> okay. I'm going to jump. Oh, We are loving the vibe in this cabin. It is just beautiful. Everything's like wood and clean. It smells fresh. It looks beautiful. We've got the grill outside, the picnic table, the campfire. We're going to use as much of it as we can. And a huge special thank you to Kings Island for inviting us to stay here at Camp Cedar for our first ever visit to Kings Island for their 50th anniversary. We couldn't be more excited, honored, and grateful. You know, how many telling stories of amusement parks outside of Florida and California. All right, I love it. Oh my oh, gosh, wow. Snoopy. 50th anniversary ornament, beautiful. Awesome, 1972 through 2020. <gasps> Charlie Brown! <laughs> wow, amazing. We've got, we got ponchos. Oh, that'll be helpful because it does look rainy. <laughs> and we got one for you. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Oh yeah, oh, and I got the beast. beast. I'm this very is happy. awesome. Thank you so much, Kings Island. We are so grateful and we are so excited. It's a pool, it's an RV, there's a bunch of stuff. This sofa here is also a fold out. You can see the other cottages there. It's got high ceilings. Really, really nice. What do we have in here? Oh yeah, everything you need. Oh, we got a lake view too. Coffee maker, like a full oven. A dishwasher. Oh, cooking stuff. Nice, very nice. Oh my gosh! That 
That is so sweet. Take another look at the bathroom here. Some products. Oh, lots of towels. Nice shower. All right, we are gonna go explore outside now. Let's go around. Let's ride the golf cart around. I rode it up here. Sam brought the car and I followed in the golf cart and it was really fun. But now Sam wants to drive. I took a second to figure out how to reverse, but it's uh, this right, right here. Whoa, okay, here we go. We're definitely not golf cart. Well, we're gonna be. You got this. I got this. There's something about riding in a golf cart that yeah. really makes you feel like you're camping. Yeah. And they have those like wheelbarrows to help you carry stuff to your room. They have a sign coming this box, I think. Oh, perfect. Let's go party. Oh, there's a pool. Oh, yeah, there's the pool. Stop. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Oh, looks nice. It is kind of gray out today, but it feels good after what a bunch of hot days we've had. I don't know why I'm screaming. <laughs> Wee! Wee Here is the lobby, which looks beautiful. The Grand Lodge. We've got the Coyote Creek Camp Store. Oh, ice, good. We've got kids partying. Oh, campfire. There's firewood. Here's the store. Let's check it out. Thank you. Ooh, nice store. Oh yeah, everything. Fisheries too. And here's the grand lobby. Wow, beautiful. We're gonna pop to the grocery store. And we can see Kings Island from here. Wow, just the tops of it. So just five minutes down the road is a Kroger grocery store. So that's where we're gonna pop in. I don't think I've ever been to a Kroger. I've never been to a Kroger either. All right, Kroger, here we go. Okay, so we're in Mason. Welcome to your Mason Kroger. Carts galore. Very graceful. Ooh. All right, we're back. We're back and we're ready. We need firewood. Guess we'll use a wheelbarrow to take our groceries up. <laughs> it, since it's like an incline, yeah. it pulls. Very convenient though. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm excited for you to grill up dinner. Me too. We can just leave it even on the patio. We're already making ourselves comfortable in here. You really like it up there, huh? Oh yeah. If I ever have a place that I built, we're having a top floor bunk. Okay. What are we watching here? What about cooking those burgers? I'll be right there. <laughs> okay, good. Oh yeah, appetizer. Mm. Well, I didn't, uh, we got a bottle of wine and don't have a like, corkscrew bottle opener thingy. Don't really think about that part. And didn't see one in the room. I don't know if I just missed it, but I'm gonna pop up. And having this is so convenient to just pop up. It's like two seconds. Plus it's just like a fun excuse to drive the golf cart. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty out. I'm just gonna pop up and see what they got here. Maybe something. Now they do have cheaper ones, but I think I'm gonna go for this one, it's a keepsake. Outfit. So I went to run that errand. Sam is manning the grill outside, he's cooking it up, and I am actually about to start editing the holiday world video. So I edit, you know, in the rooms that we're in, in between stuff, and that's how it goes. So obviously we are so excited to go to King's Island tomorrow. Yeah, it's another first. But uh, we're extremely excited to be staying here too because we've never really stayed at a place like this together. It feels so like summer, like a camp, like, we're glamping, obviously, not camping, but it really feels like a summer camping situation. And it's so different. Obviously, we're doing this 
18 day road trip, which may turn longer because we're kind of finagling the end to do a little more, but you know, night after night we're staying in hotel rooms and they're all, they've all been really good, thankfully. Just fine, you know, moderate, middle of the road, hotel rooms, we just wanted something clean and simple near each destination. But this is like its own attraction. How does this work again? Maybe it's not in and of itself. In and of itself. Uh, I'll work on opening this. But yeah, this is its own attraction in and of itself. And we're having so much fun cooking on the grill. We're gonna have a little, a little bit of wine tonight because it's just that time. There's some really nice art reflecting the nature outside. And then out the windows, you can see trees, very peaceful. Well, that lit easily. Yeah. No lighter fluid needed with these kind of charcoals, right? Yeah. We'll just let that sizzle. Yeah, wait about 10 minutes it says, and then you have to even out the charcoal and then begin grilling. Exciting. Yeah. And I also wanted to point out how adorable the patio is. And there's our campfire. We'll light that later. And it's just lovely. We got more charcoal. I don't think we need it. And that's our golf cart. And there's Sam cooking up a storm. Ooh, I'm excited. How are we looking? Actually, it looks really good and it smells yeah. really good. Isn't the sizzle? Oh. Oh, wow. I'm thinking we're good to go. I these. think we're good to go. You did good. First time grilling outside like this with charcoal and I can't wait to eat them. And it's sprinkling a little but It is, but uh, yeah. I'm not letting that get in the way. No, we're not. Look at that steaming. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, it smells so good. This is amazing. I guess I leave it to like cool. Yes. Look at the steam. Yay, dinner is served. We're gonna sit on the couch and relax now for a bit. We're watching the sunset. Oh man, it's beautiful out there. And once the sun goes down, it's more time. We're enjoying the evening and watching this beautiful sunset. The sky got clear and blue. And as soon as it gets dark, we're gonna try, we're gonna attempt to light a fire and make some s'mores. Okay, it's time gotten dark we watched a beautiful sunset hopefully my time lapse worked and you've already seen that and now the fire our campfire is here by the lake and we brought our porch chairs here for chilling Looks like our, our neighbors are doing a fire too. We went and, and bought this firewood. <laughs> well, that was nice. Our, our neighbors invited us to play a game with them. Yeah, I don't either. It looks like you're doing it like the cartoons, so I'm gonna say that is the right way. <laughs> like in a little pile like that. We'll just wing it. One way or another, something will happen. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it looks like a fire. It does look like a fire. I can already picture the flames. You just gonna straight up light it? I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. I like it. Something happened. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you got this. We're trying to get some kindling going. This might be working. By the way, it's 9.30 p.m. right now, and it looks like 6 p.m. or something. Like the sunset is happening and it's dusky, but it is by no means dark enough to look 9.30 p.m. And that's the best part about summer, just the long summer days like this. I think we got it now. We've been stoking the fire, doing all the techniques, got a little help from our neighbors. I think it's, I think it's happening. We can hear fireworks and we see everyone walking this way, so we're gonna see, maybe we can see Kings Island fireworks from here, maybe. Everyone's like going this way. Mm, no, I don't know if we can see them, but we can definitely see a lot of stars. 
You hear it? Yeah, I definitely hear them. I don't know if we can see them though. Huh? I think. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah. Cool. A little preview of King's Island fireworks that we're gonna see tomorrow. Nice. We are very excited for the fireworks and everything tomorrow. Cool. Everybody's out watching them. Here's the pool area. It looks so nice. This is the bigger pool. All right, let's get these marshmallows roasting on our measly little fire. It's better than nothing. It's good, all right? All right, this, yeah, this is going not too bad. We can hear the Kings Island fireworks. It's on fire, is it on? Nope, it's not. When it's on fire, that's when you blow it out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. We've managed to get the fire somewhat decent. Sometimes it, you know, goes up and down, but we did manage to roast some marshmallows, make some s'mores, and eat them and we're just relaxing out here having a nice time there is nothing like the feeling of just being by a campfire the smell of it the feel of it the light of the fire the primordial i don't know we just it, we're just having a nice time almost forgot to uh, say goodnight. We're going to bed now, tomorrow, big day at Kings Island. So we'll see you in the morning, Good night. Good morning. It's been raining all morning. Let's see. Well, it's definitely chilled out. It was like thundering and raining really hard. Came up to the loft to have a scope around in a morning land. You can hear the rain hitting the roof. Sprinkling, but it's definitely not the downpour it was earlier. It was thundering and it was raining so hard that it just, it was so cozy and we just slept. Time to get ready for the day. Hopefully the rain chills, but if not, we have umbrellas and rain jackets and we'll make the best of it. We've been trying to wait out the rain, but it's still raining and sometimes that's just part of travel and part of going places you can't predict or control the weather. It's just going to be a rainy day. So we're going to go ahead and finish getting ready, bring our rain jackets, bring our umbrellas and enjoy a rainy day at Kings Island and we'll see you guys when we get back to the cottage, or is it like a cabin? To the cottage the cabin thing. Good morning, it's now checkout day from Kings Island Camp Cedar. I'm just a beast of burden, that's all. It's a song. All right, I'm gonna play that song for you immediately in the car. get used to driving a golf cart around. Oh, and the ice came in very handy. There's ice in the fridge and there's also ice here to purchase. We had a lovely time here. Yesterday we spent a long day at Kings Island. We loved it. That'll be its own video. We just had the best, most spectacular day and everyone we talked to and met was wonderful. And we came back last night. We were pretty tired from a very long day. So we just like chilled on the couch, watched a show, relaxed, 
and went to bed and we slept really really well the light does come in in the morning and it makes everything so light and airy and beautiful and I just slept through that light and got a few hours a few extra winks there and now it is nearly time to check out like most hotels check out is 11 we're ready to hit the road because we've got some more fun things to do today and then the next destination is coming soon. We're gonna be driving up a little more and then over. I just wanna give a huge thank you to Kings Island for the lovely warm welcome, the friends that we made there, the people that we met. I have gotta say, one of the things that impressed us the most, like besides the park being really beautiful and beautifully maintained, the grounds were just beautiful, was the pride that the team seems to take in the park. Like everywhere we went, ride operators, food vendors, like everybody was just so happy and like in a good mood. Just really nice vibes coming from everyone and it felt like everyone took pride in the park and how beautiful it is and how good the rides are. And I don't know, just everyone seemed to really care. Like the ride operators at each ride seemed to take pride in their ride. In you can feel that and that makes all the difference when visiting anything, a theme park, attraction, amusement park, but even just any type of tourist attraction or even just your local grocery store, anywhere you go, if people take pride in the place that they are representing to you, it really, really makes a difference and it makes you feel so welcome and it makes you take pride in it and it makes you want to be the best possible guest that you can be to give them that good experience too. Of course, we always try to be the best guests that we can be, but it just makes you want to step it up a notch to be like, yes, you're here, I'm here, we're here. I don't know if I explained that right, but hopefully it comes across. But yeah, you'll see our reactions to King's Island and all of that in that video. But the one thing I don't think I said was my favorite ride, which is always so hard because it changes over time. Like a week later, I'll think about it and digest it. But we loved The Beast and we loved Mystic Timbers, I think the most. Maybe those are a tie in the moment. I, I don't know. Either way, we really liked everything except the one you'll you'll have seen if you saw that video <laughs> we're now checking out we're moving on to the next spot and we will always remember our time here at camp cedar because we had a very memorable stay i hope this was helpful to you if you're looking for somewhere different and unique to stay near king's island and it was a four minute drive like it's right across the way to king's island it's not like a long going through a big windy campground to get there it was four minute so it's really really close and convenient and if you have an rv you can stay in your rv and if not you can stay in one of these lovely cottages i thank you once again for joining us for this road trip we're having the just the time of our lives and i hope that you are too i hope you feel like you're right there with us i'm sending you all a ton of love i'll see you for the next video and until then as always stay enthused bye